All right, a beautiful welcome to your favorite social media program, The Buzz. I am Rose Blossom. I love me some Thursdays <laughs> when we talk about relationship, you know, lifestyle, morals, value, everything, you know, we have to talk about when it comes to, you know, daily living. Now, this time is away from politics. We're just talking, you know, because we have a lot of people having relationship, you know, back and forth, marriage, back and forth, divorce you know how to dress and all of that will be treating that here and of course you can be part of the show because there'll be a number displayed on your screen tv where you can actually send text messages to to be part of the show if you have questions you have suggestions you're very very welcome and i'm not going to be on the table here alone today i have uh, with me three amazing amazing guests which i'm sure we'll learn from i just pray we finish the topics today okay i'm gonna start from my right here is adebukola who is a life leadership coach and a social analyst welcome to the show mm, <laughs> like i'd like to be on the thursday program i um, know it's good to have you here yeah. Okay, and we have Dr. Grace Onoha. She's a pastor and a writer. Welcome to the show. God bless you. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. You look again. elegant. Mm, thank you. And you too. <laughs> thank you. Okay, and our third guest is Emmanuel Oluwashem Alamu. Um, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, You're welcome to the show. Thank you for having me on this show. And I believe um, my little contribution to the affairs of what is happening around us, the lifestyle, the family, mm -hmm. um, our way of life, our way of dressing. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe we should be able to learn a lot. Of course. Yes, today, yes. Of course, definitely. Yeah. And of course, Emmanuel is an engineer, a network engineering expert, and the CEO of Net ENG. Okay, all, all right. Uh, he's good with relationships too, so yes, he has his own. Uh, and he's married they're all married so yeah, yeah, yes yeah. they have good advice to give i am the single one but i have i still have advice to this show don't look down on me <laughs> okay all right moving on we have the first one we're talking about is a parenting video that's trending online now there are a lot of reactions to this video i'm not going to explain the video is just going to explain itself so let's first watch this video where we talk about parenting and it's like can't you control your child or will i will you just say a lot of things have gone wrong when it comes to training our children the right way. Let's have this parenting video. All right, welcome back. The video speaks for itself. Let me start with uh, Apostle uh, Grace. Please, who's at fault? And do you think the mother did a very good parenting on the child? <laughs> Looking at the video we just watched, the woman is not doing a good work. Mm -hmm. I discovered that most women, this is where we are getting it wrong. Most women always defend their children even when they are doing wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay. which is not supposed to be. Mm. When the father is a kind of correcting the child, I think parenting is a, is, is a teamwork. Mm -hmm. It's what the two people involved should take serious. Mm -hmm. And in parenting, it has to be done intentional. Uh, if, you, if children are very, very intelligent, even as small as they are, they know, they know when, what they are doing. They know what they are doing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they cycle. Sometimes they try to know where you belong to. <laughs> and if you are not strong enough, mm -hmm. they will push you to their own way, which may not be the right way. Mm -hmm. So I think um, it's good for the both parents to always be in agreement. Even though the child may be, wrong, may be right at that point, you don't show it at that point, but cooperate with your spouse mm -hmm. so that you can be able to get the best. Then at the end, you can also correct your spouse. Your spouse. Yes. Okay. So I, I actually agree with you. Uh, uh, Buki, now looking at our video, do you think the mother is at fault or the white guy? Okay. Judging from that video, to start with, I think that woman is kind of defensive. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say from the angle of uh, racism, maybe she was just being defensive as a matter of race. Oh, okay. Because, uh, <clears throat> because what that man said in that video is not that bad. Just for you to caution your son, you know, to stop hitting the chair. Uh, coming back to Nigeria, um, one of the problems I noticed about bringing up children in Africa, especially in Nigeria, is that um, there's a huge difference while I was growing up and what I see now. 
while it was growing up, it takes a community to raise a child. Mm -hmm. Everybody can spank you, your neighbors can spank you, correct you, and your mother won't lift a muscle. You know, but these days, even down to private schools, I, I, I sometimes I go to PT and I ask them, how many of us as parents allow these teachers to correct our children? Mm. You know, but back then, you know, when we misbehave, uh, uh, there are teachers that can bring out canes and correct us. You know, even if corporal com uh, punishment is being abolished one way or the other. But the truth is that those kind of morals, those kind of upbringing, they are we're not seeing them anymore in our society. And the child, the child, the family is a reflection of the society. Mm -hmm. So if you spoil our upcoming generation because mm -hmm. we don't want to correct them, we don't want mm -hmm. anybody to correct them, mm -hmm. it's like a time bomb waiting to explode. Mm -hmm. Because uh, one of the values of the national, that national, that umbrella they call national mm -hmm. for every nation mm -hmm. is that every individual must be raised in a way mm -hmm. that will reflect something positive in our society. So if parents, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to Nigerian parents now, we have to be very, very cautious of we not allowing others to correct our children. And as parents, you have to do everything possible because you are the first president in that child's life. Yeah. You have to do everything possible to make sure that that child is being raised correctly, morally, ethically, and otherwise. Mm -hmm. So to me, I don't, I don't want to judge this video comparing to what's going on in our society because this is a foreign video. Of course. Obviously the woman was wrong. Mm -hmm. You understand? But we as parents in Africa, in Nigeria, we should make sure that anybody can correct our children. Our children. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Emmanuel, let me ask you from this uh, um, angle. Okay. How best do you think an African parent should have actually handled that situation? Now, um, first and foremost, what the child was actually doing was very, very wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, irrespective of wherever they are. They are in the plane for crying out loud and young boy or girl. Is it boy? Is it a boy? The young kid is actually kicking the seat of somebody in front of mm -hmm. That's very, very wrong. Now, as an African parent, you're supposed to scold. Mm. Because um, even the Bible says that when if you spare the rod, you actually spoil the, you child. Spoil the child. So and we don't know what the parents are actually doing at home. Because these kids of of this generation, let me just put it like that, kids of this generation, they they learn so fast and they learn the negative things so fast. Mm. So now I don't know the, the relationship between the father and the mother at home. Probably if the father is talking, the mother will not listen. So the child will take that, that okay, whenever anybody is talking to me, I have to do what is in my, my mind. So I, I think it is just way beyond fine. The mother was overprotective or over domestic. I don't know, I don't know the, the grammar to this. <laughs> so a, 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 a an African mother, one of the virtues of being called an African is discipline, mm. but these days it is that that value is, is getting is getting is going to an extinction. Mm. Yes, because I I could remember vividly while growing up I was not a gentle guy, I was not a gentle boy. Ah, That's, so you used to that boy? No, 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 I was not a gentle boy. I don't. <laughs> I was not a gentle boy. But, but anybody could correct you in a right. around, in your environment. When, whenever I hear that, I know the time my dad will come. My mom will always say, I'm telling you to do something, you didn't do it, don't worry. Once it is 7 p.m., <laughs> your dad will come. I'll be as cold as ice. Once it is 6 30, you see me enter inside, I'll go and sleep. Nobody will tell me. <laughs> but these days, you say, don't beat my child, you say, uh, uh, self esteem. That is not self-esteem. Fine, some people can be so callous, but it is not that as an African or as an African parent, mm. it is not that you tell them not to help you school your child. You can't train these kids alone. Mm, sure. Sure. Not, not even with this age. And uh, time, with social media and technology, you know. Technology. God, everything is just, I don't know, everything is just going. It's not that way, really, because uh, sometimes, even when you see kids around uh, messing up, you know, there's this kind of fear behind that. Ah, let me not say something that my parents can answer. Exactly. So 
Everybody just be cautious these days mm-hmm. to correct someone else's child, which is not supposed to be it's like that. It's not supposed to be. Anyway, we have some reactions here. This one says, couldn't the woman control her child? Everything is not racism. Anyone could easily get irritated. Some people cannot stand the smallest noise. Also bearing in mind that the man is also entitled to be comfortable while flying. Another says, we all just need to agree uh, that the new way of parenting these days is not helping our kids. Um, my mother just needs to give me a look <laughs> when we're growing up and uh, we just have sense because <laughs> I know what that because I know what I'll face later. So we need to discipline our kids and these days they're not doing it rightly because they always continue to misbehave and disgrace you. Okay, another said this now why are they fear to go abroad with this? <laughs> because mother and son for don't chop slap. Please we don't want violence. <laughs> No violence. Anyway, another says the boy is old enough to be controlled, so his mom needs to do more work on him. The white couple are actually extremely polite and nice. Honestly, I noticed in the video, the boy loved the attention. I, mm, I don't know. Exactly. He loved the attention because he saw people, he saw the other guy recording, uh, the person actually recording the video. He saw that people behind were also talking. He was looking around and, you know, then you can see the video, he was comfortable. This video is quite long because after he stopped for a while, when the man faced front, the wife faced front, he continued again. Mm-hmm. And the mom was just looking at him. He didn't say anything. Was just calling his name. Calling his name does not mean you're telling him to stop. You can see him looking around. He knows what he's doing. They are very smart kids. These kids, very oh intense. Jesus. Oh my word. Sometimes I, 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 it's not even about scolding them. Sometimes I'm even scared to talk to them. Not like scared though, but to talk to them because the because response you don't know they, they are the response, yes, the that response they give to you. They give you you'll be taken aback and you have to mm-hmm. sit down you think cook up the answers then give to them because it's just amazing anyways like we all said african parents we need to do more uh, in our society make things better and of course our children need to be disciplined like bookie rightly said is the whole society that so, trains a child not one person Okay, let's move on to the next one. This one is relationship wahala. <laughs> well, this is a reaction, um, a question I was thrown online, so I decided to treat it today. It says, a Nigerian lady named Favor has asked if she's in a one-sided relationship because her boyfriend of one year has never given her money or gifts. According to her, she gives him money whenever he asks and he doesn't wish, okay, and he doesn't wish her happy birthday on her birthday. Like that's 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 a no no for me. But <laughs> let me bring it from your angle. Imagine you're a man. Imagine you've been in a relationship and you're collecting, collecting. You're not giving. What does that tell you? One, or what does he? What yeah, advice do you have for the girl? One, as a man, um, if you're in a relationship with a lady and you're the one who is always demanding, to the lady is actually a very big red flag. See. He should not, she should not have expected any happy birthday or any wishes or happy. because they, <laughs> in recent, the guy is into that relationship because he's actually seeing something. Guessing so something. The guy is a par- parasite. Mm. So now. Tough love. <laughs> no, that is, is that is that a big tough. It's not, no, it's not though. It's not, please. So as a lady, I don't think at this present age and time mm-hmm. you need someone to tell you that this guy is not is not any way in love with you so it's a one-sided relationship it is even if you call it outside itself <laughs> <laughs> so you understand yeah. a, a, a man is supposed to be providing either you are in a relationship or not mm. no matter how little it might be you should be able to you should be able to do something Mm. Not that you be the one to be collecting. Collecting every time. So now, if the fund or the resources you are collecting, if it is no more there, that means there is no love again. Of course, so probably the guy will move on. Bookie, on your own man. perspective, as mm. a man. Yeah, <laughs> as a man, let me come from his own angle. I often say this. I said there is no man that is too stingy or too greedy mm. in a relationship or marriage. Is it that he's not in love with you? If a man loves you, he will do everything possible to make you happy. So a lot of girls don't get that kind of signal. When a man doesn't wish you happy birthday, mm. he doesn't spend money on you, mm-hmm. automatically leave 
any other thing anybody is saying, that man does not really know. Right. Like seriously, because sometimes I'm not, some girls will say, ah, this guy, this man is too stingy. This man is too greedy. He doesn't spend money on me. If he loves you, you know, you spend. No man is too greedy or too selfish or too stingy not to spend on his. But well, don't you think woman. there could be an exception? Like, why do you believe? It, how about if there's an exception that there's just somebody okay, that, that even, loves me, you but will not spend on you? Okay, let me even go back. But the person me. loves you. That, yeah, the person loves that, you, but it doesn't. That, spend uh, there is no, there is no love let's, without no, sharing. No, let me go back. <laughs> let me go back to the general orientation. Okay. In all these francophone countries, you know, when you go out with the lady, you know, you pay your bills, she pays her bills. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's not like I'm paying, I'm, I'm taking you out. You're, you're eating, you're taking away, you're bringing your friends to eat and taking away. <laughs> you understand? So, relationship over there, sometimes even developed country, it's kind of balanced mm. because nobody's a parasite. We are coming because we want to be with each other, mm -hmm. not because I want to gain anything from you. Mm -hmm. So, sometimes that, uh, um, um, what's this mentality now? Uh, entitlement mentality that we have, our ladies have here, I don't really like it. Mm. You should go out with a man. Hoping that you spend your money, he spends his money. When you even have, can even spend on him. All these things, psychologically, these are things that are affecting relationships in Nigeria. Because a, a lot of women just sit back and think it's just the duty of the men to do whatever thing for them. Mm. It doesn't work like that. You should have this mentality that okay, once in a while, let me take my man out, let me spend money on him. Right. So I don't have to depend oh, on. I don't. Have, I don't have to be with a man because he's rich, because his house is fine, or he has, he has a car. You should think of value first. What value is this I had into my life? Mm -hmm. If I marry this guy, am I going to be better off? Mm -hmm. you know, those are questions women should ask. That's why a lot of women, they say, ah, uh, uh, I didn't know this kind of. It's a lie. You, should, you saw those red flags before you got married to mm -hmm. me. You're just really, mm -hmm. man, when I married to you, I'm going to be a child, I'm going to be a child, I'm going to be a So we're just lying to ourselves eventually. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Apostle Grace, let See, me talk uh, as okay. a woman now. Sincerely yeah. speaking, if you look at the relationship, it's not going to last because it's wise, one sided. Mm -hmm. uh, the man doesn't like that girl. <laughs> the lady herself is trying to force herself to man. belong. Mm -hmm. And the, the man is showing her the red flag already. Mm. And this is where we are getting it very, very wrong. In a relationship, we still go ahead and marry that man. We still go ahead and marry that man and start giving cancerous trouble. <laughs> <laughs> In the next few years, they say I they are quitting. <laughs> the truth of the matter, we are getting married for values. Mm. You add value to my life, mm. I add value to your life. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's nothing wrong for a woman spending for her man. Mm. It's, it's, it's okay. But the man also must know that it is purely his responsibility. Mm -hmm. But every good woman builds a man. Mm -hmm. So if you want to, if you are, if you are in that relationship to build a man, you won't just continue to be collecting, Think, collecting. Yes. What are you doing with what you are collecting? Yes, yes. Whatever you collect, must well, surely return back to the man mm -hmm. in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. So in, in, in relationship, it is in, when we say love, love is all about sharing. Though. Love is all about giving. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me that you love me and you are not giving to me. So there is no love there. So we should be able to define what we want in life mm -hmm. and follow it. Okay, you want to say something, yeah, Madam? Yes. Something. Actually, um, nobody knows the past experience of that man. The mm. relationship might. The man be must be a collector. <laughs> it might not be that at the initial stage. No, I think this is too okay. where somebody, somebody told it you that you don't know where the man is coming yeah, from. Yeah, okay, revenge. Somebody, somebody yeah, has used that. Now yeah. it's a revenge against exactly. an innocent person. It's yeah. a revenge relationship that, oh, after I spent, I spent for all the years. <laughs> Now, you, for like I'll, 10 make years. Sure, I'll make I sure I'll make sure all that, <laughs> all the money that this is. That's another, that's, that's another, that's another, that's yes. know the, the genesis of what is happening to me. Okay, but if the man continue revenging, will he let her get married? Actually, and the man is not in for any long term relationship. relationship. Okay, want to collect back. He's only in for so a collect. revenge. Okay. So, <laughs> such a person should probably, uh, probably seek a counselor, like you said. <laughs> should not disturb our counselor. Like the one problem. And now, they should not disturb the counselor and get better. So, they will stop hurting because now, if you do it to this lady, when she meets... The lady will also revenge at the oh, end so of the day. So, so we are getting it through. Wow. Okay, this one says, she's just wasting her time. This Man. isn't a relationship. I have been in one before. Or, as okay. soon as I ask, before I land, it is I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> it means there is somebody else that he's That's giving exactly his money to. Yes. 
Okay, this one is reacting to the mother video. This one says the mother is a spoiled mother. In the name of I love my child, they spoil their children by not scolding them. Most mothers spoil their children. This is why we have a gen um have a general Generation. bad, uncultured, and disrespectful children. This is Elijah. Elijah, thank you very much. Okay, let me read uh, some other reactions. From a mom perspective, you are actually and obviously dating yourself. You're not in a relationship, but a situationship. <laughs> it doesn't regard you as anything. He's just using you because you refuse to see that he's not into you. Mm. A man who is committed to you won't wait to do anything for you. You won't even question his presence in your life. But the moment you start to complain, just know he's not interested in you and you stop hoping he will someday... He will someday because he won't. Your life is more precious, so concentrate on focusing on your life, developing it, sharing it with an avail unavailable man that doesn't regard you as anything in his life. No this <laughs> and no peace. <laughs> okay, last one before we move on. You never really have to ask anything from a man that's really into you. Not a date, not even time, not even money. If someone is really into you, they move with you differently okay let's still talk about relationship marriage and all of that now this one is about marital vows i saw a trendy video online now instead of using the word obey why not respect that is the quote now instead of using obey in your marital vow, i promise to obey you oh, how, what's that vow though i promise to obey you and all of that instead of using obey why not put respect now this is because of a video that was trending online where you know they, they ask the lady to you know they always ask them to repeat after yeah. me so he got to the obey and she was like what obey what, <laughs> <laughs> obey what? <laughs> you know but i was talking with um some of my friends and i was like see i'll rather okay let me not say that okay in sickness in sickness and in health and in health to love to love cherish cherish and to obey <laughs> about that one in council. We did talk about that in council. <laughs> yes, we did. So you want me to repeat that again? You want to just keep going? I think we can keep going. All right. <laughs> <laughs>right uh welcome back like she said she wants to keep going not the obey because she didn't talk about that now let's react to this video let me start with you uh apostle why do you think nowadays a lot of women uh, uh, let me not even put it as women a lot of people tend to write their vows not the normal usual way and even while writing it why do you think a lot of ladies have a problem actually putting that word obey in their vows their own written vows or even the church vow when the pastor says repeat it why do you think that is happening now and um, if you look at uh, before you enter into a marriage maybe such person might have seen what is happening in her own home between her mom and her dad. Mm. Some, some men are so oppressive. Mm. They can suppress a woman. You know, when you come to obedience, actually the Bible has uh, asked us to obey. Obedience is not just obey the man only. The man too also should obey. obey the woman. Mm -hmm. Because this is two people coming mm -hmm. together to, for, to accomplish a goal mm -hmm. for their marriage to stand. It, uh, but the uh, Bible made it uh, in such a way that man is the head of the woman. Bala, bala. Thank God for that. <laughs> but respect. I, I think no marriage work without respect. Every man needs respect. Every woman needs respect. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs to be respected. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you are doing the right thing, you don't need to be afraid. When you are doing the right thing, you don't need to be afraid. I didn't have it. I don't find it any hard. I don't find it so hard obeying a good instruction. But the truth there, the question there is, are you going to give me a command that is suitable for suitable me? Suitable for you. Okay, so if it's not suitable for you, you won't yes. obey command. Yes, yes. There are some commands that will push you out of your life, out of your destiny. Mm. Whereby a man will tell you, okay, I married to you, you don't need to do this, you don't need to do this, you don't need to do this. So for the lady, she don't know the kind of uh, uh, command the man may come in, come if she vow, because the moment you vow, you have entered into, yeah. it's a vow. It's a commitment. But the, a the truth is that we don't even understand what you are vowing for, mm -hmm. what you are going into. Mm -hmm. It's a covenant. Mm -hmm. 
And Do you get my point? Is a covenant is in a is in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. If the man asks you tomorrow to join me, I'm a court man. You have to join, join me in court, court, and that is against your belief. You will not agree, and from there you'll be having issues. Yeah. So I think there are some things that's supposed to be defined. Mm -hmm. Do you get my point? Mm -hmm. Obedience is not wrong. It's not a wrong thing, but I must know whom I'm obeying. Okay. Uh, Buki, do you, you agree with uh, yeah. I'm Do you know it? that um, this vow, a lot of people just read, um, uh, recite it. They just recite, but they don't, they don't pay attention to, to it. the words. I'm actually just looking at it now. The word obey is very deep. Mm -hmm. The word obey is very deep, and um, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lifetime vow. But to me, I, I think I'll prefer submission. You know, sometimes when I talk to um, singles, you know, I'd like to do some words that can make it easier for them. When mm. you love a man, submission com becomes easy. Mm. You know, and when you're submit submitted to a man, loyalty comes in. When you're, then when you're loyal, whenever, whatever thing he tells you, you see, I tell people that marriage is so deep. Oh, all these ones that um, gone are the days where men want to dominate. If you don't carry your wife along uh, in marriage, you end up having issues because women sometimes they are like babies. You have to talk to them countless times, repeat visions to them, tell them these are because women and men don't think alike. Mm. So me, I don't, I, I don't ever see myself and my wife as somebody I can always uh, command. You understand? She has a mind of her own. Mm -hmm. so she's supposed to even challenge some of my thoughts. And then, how do you see? Don't you think? You understand? That's the way it was. So, because sometimes, if you're coming into a marriage like this alpha male, and the one that knows it all, <laughs> and the one that can that knows everything, everything. sometimes, most times, you'll be missing more out of God's blessing. Because sometimes, women see farther than the men. Mm -hmm. You understand? So the world will be now, looking at that video now, I'm beginning to think, you know, <laughs> did, I, did I even take this kind of vow, you know? Right. So that word will be is very, very deep. You can, you can talk your wife through situations, mm -hmm. you can instruct her, you can give her reasons for even instruct her, she will go, she will do it with her own conscience and everything will go well. Like, unlike what she said, like, uh, command, instruct, obey. Mm. I'm saying this to you and you, you have to obey it. Your, your, I'm your husband. Mm -hmm. I don't think life has really advanced more than this state of using that word obey. Okay, okay uh, Emmanuel, before you react, um, my head is between this obey and submissive because mm. submission, submission, because I feel submission is quite worse than obeying. Submission, yeah. Yeah. submission, submission. submission comes naturally. I just love this man, I believe in his, in his ideas, I believe he's like a leader. Mm -hmm. Let me just submit to him. You know that one of the tussles, one of the problems we have. Uh, in marriages, it's ego torso. You just believe that your man, this man, is not sensible enough to direct me. You know, I think I'm more sensible than him. So when you see husband and wife having clash of ego, you know, so when submission is not both there. ways, it's not, there's always an issue. But me, I'm scared for that submission because inside submission, so you see. So you to submission? Yes. So obey because not because if, if you want to define submission, uh, submission is more like obeying a command. Submission in in no, when you say submission, you can just submit to a man like this man. I just believe he's the head of this family. I know he can take good decisions for us. Let me just submit. Okay, let him. me bring it this way. You know, that kind of submission is what is affecting a lot of homes in our present day society now. Okay, because there is no submission. No okay, okay. Uh, let me let me bring it this way. Like okay. when you're in secondary school, you know, true rain, true sun, thick and thin. Your math teacher, I'm using math teacher because that man showed us shaggy. <laughs> your math teacher will say, you must bring your assignment, submit your assignment by 7 a.m. Mm. You bath, you know bath. It's not my business. You must submit it. That now, what will be? Gee, are you now seeing it? So well, it's, the they don't sleep. care what happens. Your wife is not your slave. And that's what I'm saying. And that's why I the said submission is hard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. What about that, respect? That is so deep. Respect. Respect, yes. of course, is part of it. I think, I think submission, respect, even the obedience somehow, if you look at it, it just it depends on whom, I'm, who is, whom are you dealing with. Mm -hmm. It depends who you are well, dealing with. Women, if a lot of women come out because about this obey, sincerely, yes. uh, like seriously, you hear cases where a, 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 a man was dating a woman before he got married, then the woman was doing well, working in the bank and all that. Immediately they got married, the man told the wife, that you must stop doing that job, working in that place. Yeah. And you might have to obey. Yeah, I, I saw is, that not, is that not out of, like she said, are you not pushing that woman out of destiny? Out of destiny. 
True. Like, uh, you, you react very, very so, so sorry, so sorry. <laughs> like, I saw a post on Facebook, mm -hmm. and um, in the post, the lady, <laughs> the lady, the way she was even toasted, let me use that word, toasted, is weird because it was like, I call me the name of the father. I am your husband to be, you know, something, mm -hmm. something like that. And. Your other sister is just. <laughs> ah, there is this though. <laughs> so he was telling the lady that um, that once they get married, she is not going to be able to continue her nursing profession. She has to obey that. And if the lady offends him, she has to go and pray to God to touch his heart before to he will forgive. <laughs> Oh, uh, at that point, the girl has to choose what she wants. She she's already she's she's even saying she's scared of the guy, but she cannot leave the guy because the guy has said she is a partner, is a flesh uh, of flesh and bone of okay. bone. Who and is that the is right. She's just fooling herself. Right. That one is brainwashing. Uh, it's just brainwashing. <laughs> okay, let let, rea let react to this angle now. Let's okay. leave obey. Okay. Now, uh, how about this in riches? In, in wealth and, and, and in sickness and health, wealth in poverty. Uh -huh. a, a lot of people still fight against that one. Like, I did not bargain for you to be poor or or to be so sick see, that uh, I have to see, be the one see, to take care of you. See. Um, reacting to the obedient submission, the respect, I believe. And wealth, riches, and everything. Everything, everything is. Um, they are very pursued. Mm -hmm. they, they are, they are mm -hmm. Now, this is this is my own um, point of view. They will all equally tell the man the same vows they are telling the lady to repeat. Mm -hmm. And they will still use the word obey or submit or respect or whatever. See, before you, as, as a lady or as a guy, before you say, okay, this is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. You must have actually been in a relationship. You must have actually known your flaws. Should you understand? Um, I don't think using the word obey or being obedient, a man can be obedient to a lady. And the lady can, can be, be obedient, obedient to a man. To now, being obedient is different from using brute force or using force. Command or tone. Command mm -hmm. or you can. I can tell my wife, okay, dear, let us look at the angle of this kid or of this child. Okay, why not do this? Mm -hmm. In obedience, there is respect. Mm -hmm. In obedience, there is submission. Mm. I know a lot of things that there are some attitudes that I portrayed before that even it was during my relationship period that, that my wife you? Kept from me. Mm. She understand. So, but if you are getting married to all in the name of I have to marry, or I, uh, they are calling me public or evening newspaper or something. <laughs> Which one is said, evening newspaper? Ah, again? yes, so, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Okay. So, and you now say, okay, this is just the next available man. Mm, yeah. Let me just go with it. You actually have issues. Now, this, I don't know, this particular footage that we watched, uh -huh. I, I bet it with you. The relationship cannot last up, last up for five years. Why are you so sure? Yes, mm -hmm. I'm very sure because one, from this, there is every evidence that whatever the wife is saying, the wife will want to let this happen. Okay, well, I think it, it's well, well, well. I, well I mean, I mean, maybe it's because of where me I'm coming from. That that that's why I said that word will be is very deep because in the military, you know, they'll tell you it will be the proper. <laughs> oh my, yeah, yeah, so okay. okay. So. That word obey it means uh, authoritative to me. Mm. Yeah, obey before complain. Obey okay, the last that's order. why you. Last order. Okay, okay. Obey the last order. Okay, okay. Okay. Now, that, that. okay. now uh, the word obey has different meaning mm. and different interpretations. Mm -hmm. Now, the other part of the in better, sickness, sickness and in health. And health and, mm -hmm. See, God is the architect of every man. Mm -hmm. So you understand. You might have five hundred million today. And life might happen to you. And everything is gone. And everything is gone. Now, if you do not get married to your partner, okay, let us let us go to the uh, to the Bible. Let us take Job. Let us cite Job as an example. Job was a very wealthy man. Within a period, everything he has went down. Yeah. Now, at the point that the wife was actually abusing him, mm. 
in, in, in a family or in, in a relationship, whenever, whenever th there are issues, the, the man tends to feel a responsible man, though. Mm -hmm. He tends to feel the it's more. Before a woman will complain that uh, there is no super thing, a responsible man will know that Start there, feeling is no, it. there is no super This woman will ask for money. <laughs> that is how it is. Mm -hmm. So, and going broke or running, running down, coming down in life is actually a face of life. Mm -hmm. True. You actually come back home. Of course. Now, if you do not pass through, there, I'll cite an example. There was, there was a story I was told actually. This man. Can I make it very quickly because okay, of time? Sorry, no. This, this man was well to do before mm. marriage. But well, after they gave it to like two children, everything went well. Right. Just like Job. Exactly. Just like Job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the wife was the one supporting the house. But while the wife was supporting the house, he turned the guy to a slave. To a slave in the house? Yes, in the, like the man cannot talk. But the man was like, okay, I know things will bounce back. After like five, six years, he picked up back. Again. Sure you understand. Now, after picking up back, he just told the wife, fine, this house, I was going to give it. I am willing this. I am giving you everything. Let me go and start my life. In life again. Yes. Why? Fine, they will say the woman did not leave the man. But it is even better for the woman to leave the man than showing him all those attitude all those but that's why the, ma the marriage is supposed to be true thick and thin it's not going to be soft you have some terrible times so you can't just she stayed she stayed so why are you telling her to leave you don't have that lost job yes time. you know they you are understand? friends they are doing well so uh -huh. you are just looking so you know, I, this was constantly yeah happening. of course this, but this, it cannot it could, it there's could. no way it can be can remain like that way mm. as he said before it's god that created all things mm -hmm. he know the end from the beginning, from beginning. Mm -hmm. but the vow uh, uh is said that we say for better for, for worse. i think what they are trying to to uh put out of it is this issue of confessing negative negative things before it happens mm. we know that life is not balanced mm -hmm. and if you're going into a relationship with any man or woman you can't just say this uh, man that is millionaire will remain a millionaire yeah. mm -hmm. in the next 10 years mm -hmm. you can't mm -hmm. but uh, it may remain and it may not. not but as long as you have accepted him whether good or bad you will continue but coming to the altar and claiming it you, you, whatever you confess we definitely in one way or the mm -hmm. other follow you mm. so they can we can they can cut it off for better for best yeah. that oh, does not mean yes. yes for better for best mm. that does not mean that uh no, if god does no. yes uh -huh. you will these oh, are the no. things that make up the marriage and a good woman can never leave them no matter what exactly, exactly. and i see one a good woman who is exactly. ready to can never Who's because i've taken this is your brother this is your husband this is your friend a friend in need is a friend, is a friend, friend indeed. indeed. Yes, yes, yes. And we also have some situation whereby the woman herself is even the breadwinner mm -hmm. from the beginning, from the yes, onset. Yes, yes, sure. And now we have two men here. I will even ask this question because <laughs> most of the times you see some, some men, some men, they don't have the money. The woman is the one doing think, all yeah. things. But for a man to look at this woman who work 24 hours, respect him bring money at home for the man to tell the woman wait well on you are trying he will not but he'll be waiting for the day that lady will make a little mistake you know that's the way you will push we are all human beings mm -hmm. that's the way you will push somebody to a, to the world he will be pushed to say something mm -hmm. okay. and that's little thing he said the man will pick it up so what's and the question enlarge it. For them? What's the my question now is that what advice do you people how do you guys have for men Who's their wives are the breadwinners? Okay. How can they be encouraging the, first, the woman? First, like if the woman the is a nice woman, that is not okay. the one that, that okay. you understand. Because we know there's a lot of women. If they mm -hmm. enter, they have one thousand, one million, the house will scatter. Okay. <laughs> the man can no longer even eat very and true. have peace. Very true. Bookie, but very we true. have. Yeah, um, so I like to tackle issues from the roots. Um, one of the things that causes that, madam, is that um, a lot of guys have inferiority complex, uh -huh. and a lot of a lot of men, a lot of boys now that are being groomed to be men, 
they have uh, that's that's what they saw in their the marriage their parents had. Mm -hmm. You understand your upbringing it matters. It will always reflect mm -hmm. in your in your marriage. Let me give you an instance in my, an instance personal experience. Why I just why we just got married with my wife? It was my wife that was working. My wife was doing a nine to five. I me, mean, I was just by the side doing business just to pick up. You understand? And one of the things that made me respect my wife from day one was that when my, whenever my wife collects her salary, she brings it to me. I didn't force her, I didn't tell her to. I don't know where she got that idea from. She'll bring it to me and I'll tell her, okay, this is how you spend the salary, this is how you spend it. Do you know that I'm the one doing most of the work now at home? Because of that singular act while she was working for two or three years, mm. because of that submission, that loyalty that I noticed in her, there's no cover that comes to my account that the church, I don't tell her. Mm. I tell her every of my friends. It's not that she's going to collect it for me, mm. but mm. Because she has been open for the, for the offset. So now it makes me open to her, my finances, without fear. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's about your upbringing. Mm -hmm. It's about yes. the, the orientation you mm -hmm. have. You know, it doesn't make, it doesn't make, the first TV on our wall, my wife bought it. Mm. But now I've bought countless TVs. TVs after that. So it, it, doesn't, it doesn't make you less of a man. Uh -huh. if, you're, if, you're, if you're a woman, hence more than you, or mm -hmm. have more than you. Mm -hmm. It's the orientation you both have that matters. Mm -hmm. Now, She's enjoying it. Of course. But a lot of women, they'll tell you, they will hide their finances from their husbands. Mm -hmm. You know, it starts from there. And a lot of women too, maybe they saw their mom while they were growing up, that their mom was always talking down on their fathers, on their dads, and they saw it was normal. Mm -hmm. So when they got married, they felt, okay, I must work out too, so, so that I can always, you know, my husband will be able to control, control me. Yeah. So the two different worlds for two, two different, two different places. people. Yeah. So. Okay, all right. Um, Anyways, I agree with what you what, what you said, but I still want to add. You know, a lot of people now are listening, and some people might take it the wrong way. We are not saying bookie is different from your man or your husband. We are not now saying you go and taking your money to him. If you take your money to him, and he does not. Blows him. Can I come? Can I can I come in? Can I come in? I believe <laughs> for bookie mm -hmm. for her for his wife mm -hmm. to be submitting her money. Mm -hmm. The woman has looked at him. Yes. That is a man with vision. Yes. He's a man that reasons the well. There are men that you will submit. Please. The ah. money will go that's down the drain. That's 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 so, exactly. So, exactly. You should master whom you. Your will. Your, exactly. your husband. But do the spouse. right thing. Yeah. Both of them should do the right thing. thing. Okay, let me read some reactions because of our time. This one says, when the Bible stated women should obey her husband, it first talked about the man loving his wife okay. as Christ loved the church. So love comes first. <laughs> Obedience. <laughs> Obedience is mutual. Another says, um, submission should be a preferable word. You don't obey everything. What if it's something detrimental to the woman? Another says, we know to... Um, we know that no one can fight nature. Sickness, pain, and poverty can happen to anyone. However, it should not be used as affirmation mm. because words A carry power. power. I agree with that. Same thing you said, um, uh, Apostle. And another one says, uh, she isn't taking her vow casually. I respect that. Uh, listening to mm. what she's actually repeating and really meaning what she's promising. Stopping when there is something she doesn't agree with. I don't plan on obeying my man either. Okay. <laughs> Another says, I'm not a feminist, but I think it's a little demeaning to women to say they should obey their husbands like their husbands are in charge of them. I will respect my husband and listen to what he says and be respectful of his opinion and what he asks of me, but I'm not someone's property that can be made to obey like a dog okay another says i would prefer the word respect than obey anyway let's see if we can still take one more before we go and this one we're taking will be about um indecent dressing in school there is a video of a female uni uh, uniband student that dragged the security guard who slapped her over her short dress let's watch that video and quickly you know react before we round up the show why are you me, wife? Why are you Why did you slap me? Why did you slap me? Why did you want to slap me?
All right, welcome back. Uh, we saw the video. Uh, first, let me start with uh, Buki. Mm -hmm. Yes. Reacting to that video, do you think what the security guard did was right? And how best do you think, you know, one should, you know, dress to university? Mm -hmm. Because they say there's what they call civic right. Your civil right, you can do what you want to do. Okay. Uh, first, uh, I want to condemn the security man's heart because uh, no matter what, no matter in this and that lady might have dressed, she doesn't have that right, that moral right to hit that lady. You understand? But seriously, the way ladies dress these days is getting out of hand. I'll, I'll, and sometimes people can tell you that it's a, it's a freedom of expression, you can wear whatever thing, you know, but we are Africans, we should live in decent society. Mm. Let me give you an instance. Just here, but here, Air Force, Nigerian Air Force Base in Kenya. As soon as you're stepping into the gates, you know, they show you pictures of indecent dresses that they don't want in this environment. Mm. You understand? And it goes to tell that if you go there, you see everybody well dressed, well behaved. And that's, that's kind of reflection we should have in our society today. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of girls wear some scanty clothes and dresses indecently, in, in and I wonder, you know, sometimes you don't even know who is watching you, who wants to marry you. Mm -hmm. you, know, you don't have to be naked. You don't even to care be for marriage again. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be naked to be attractive. A lot of girls, I, I, sometimes I wish I could just gather them and talk to them. You know, while I, I find they talk about um, uh, culture, we talk about times. You know, the times are fast have changing, mm -hmm. you know, but, but there should be some kind of decency in how you portray yourself. How can you come out naked and you want people to respect you, you want people to regard you? You know, our ladies should try and watch. You're not in the club, you're not going to the club. Sometimes I, in, the, in buses, I see more girls who are like, ah, this is a public bus, this is a pub, this is public for, for crying out loud. Mm. So our girls should really watch it. You, you, well, portray were. yourself well, you know, why, the way you dress, like you say. It's the way you address. Exactly. Okay, uh, Emmanuel, what's your take on that? How best do you think a student should dress when going to school? Because to her, she was like, why would you slap me? Is it your dress? What did I wear? Is it short? Like, she actually feels what she's wearing is not even bad. It's normal. Bad. It's normal. So, um, I believe every, student, uh, every, every school has um, their dress culture. Every school. Mm. So, Though in the in the in the side side of the um, security personnel, mm. you didn't do well by slapping, slapping the lady. Slapping the lady, she understand. But the best thing she could have he could have done was to send her back, not to enter the school mm. the premises. Mm -hmm. But um, looking at the country, I won't say Africa at large, but Nigeria is very precise. I don't know what to I don't know how to actually. I don't know if it is due to peer pressure, it is due to what they see. There are diverse reasons actually. No, it's, it's, it's more of peer pressure. Yeah. And, um, and um, the disgusting thing is that sometimes they go way to church these days. Exactly. That is the most annoying thing. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't, most of these people are not comfortable. You see some of them. <laughs> yes. It's the right. is the the is is right. pulling right. it down. I don't understand. <laughs> Why do you wear such? Before, when you know that you will not be comfortable with it, mm. she understand. They don't need anybody to tell them that what you are wearing is it's bad. bad. They know that what they are wearing is bad. But I don't know. You want to have a, a responsible man to marry you. Mm -hmm. no. mm -hmm. If you should take ten, uh, ten of them out, it will be like one or two that will see mm -hmm. any responsible person to, to, mm. to marry them. Because the way, like he said, the way you are dressed is the, the way, way you be are addressed. Dressed. Most you just take them as call girls, mm. even if they are not. You think, mm. Because the first um, sign of impression is how you are dressed, and you are dressing anyhow. So you, it is also if, the Rasta mafia that will come and. So, so. <laughs> in fact, it's even worse because a lot of girls now, a whole lot of girls, actually step out of their home. Not they want to this go and buy granite or something. No, they are actually going out and they don't wear any underwear. Mm. They are, you, they are practically naked underneath. It's just that. You um, see, you traffic. see, we see boss at uh, to parent, you know. Mm. Because mm. if this lady now, to me, the the security man slapping her is not good. Mm -hmm. But that's what the lady wanted. She was seeking for attention. Mm -hmm. So she got she the wanted attention. to draw attention. Mm -hmm. Many of them will tell you, we want to be, we want to have fame, we want people to know us. So by the time they dress like this, you know, it's only a madman that can dress like this, mm -hmm. can draw attention without spending with anybody, without you paying. So this is what I see now in our ladies. But the parents, 
are the highest contributor to what is happening today. Mm -hmm. Social media is there, fine. But the parents, if this girl now has family that knows her like this, that this is not the way she, even, even if she comes to school and change, mm -hmm. she knows that she's going back to her family. Mm -hmm. And they will not take it lightly with her. Mm -hmm. So many of them don't have value for their families. Mm -hmm. And some parents don't even have they parents. Don't they don't mm -hmm. care. You are looking good. You are looking good. Even when you are wearing pants, you are looking good. Mm -hmm. Devil is at work everywhere, using all this dressing now to trap, especially men. I'm, I'm even praying. In the next 10 years, I don't know it's where our really men <laughs> that God should work. help the men. Because when a lady <laughs> dressed like this, are you thinking that there's something inside that lady? Mm. It cannot give you can't give what you don't have. Exactly. Mm. What is there must be demonic. What's the value? What's the value so of what she has? You can you just give it to them free of charge. Mm. And you are killing the destiny of this man. Mm. Okay. I just pray that God should help the men. Yes. That's just it. Mm. And deliver the gifts <laughs> and save parents to do the right thing. Okay, thank you very much. Isaac, I see.